So what's the balance between showing up when you're supposed to and then taking extra initiative to stay longer perhaps, but without burning out? It's always important to take time for yourself to ensure that you have taken a step back and you're doing well. When I did the long um, hours in general surgery, I remember I would wake up at four in the morning, I would drive downtown, um, our round started at 5.30, I would round with the, res the whole team, we would go into OR at about eight, and the physician I was with would sometimes do 12 hour surgeries or sometimes do 20 hour surgeries. We would be in OR till the morning after, or sometimes at night we would do emergency epis or coles, then we would round on patients the day after, and then I would go home. Door to door, it would be about a 30 hour day sometimes. And I remember feeling exhausted. I remember just not wanting to do anything once I got home and it felt like a waste of time and effort. And very quickly, the chief resident I was linked up with realized that and he started to tell me that I had to use my day after being on call to recuperate. I had to go home, sleep, I had to eat well. He reminded me to do that because I realized very quickly I wasn't doing that when I was on a 30 hour shift. I remember having to bring five meals because you're really there for five meals. I remember him forcing me to go down with him at 6 a.m. the morning after and having breakfast. So it's the little stuff that really matters. I make it a point to ensure that students who do rotation with me have breakfast and lunch. UHN recently found that the number one cause of falls amongst students from all specialties was hypoglycemia and dehydration. And we very quickly found that all preceptors had to do was take the extra 10 seconds to ensure that their students had drank water, had breakfast, and taken some time to have lunch. It's very difficult when you're a student to feel as if uh, to be in a position where you are intimidated and you can't ask, can I just take 10 minutes to go to the washroom and have a bite to eat? And it's okay to do so. Remember that the rest of us are humans too. We're not going to penalize you for asking the time to do that. And if somebody does penalize you for that, it's not you, it's them. Hi, I'm Maitri and I'm a Radiation Oncology Physician Assistant. Um, I'm a McMaster Physician Assistant Program graduate from class of 2014.